I'll assume at this point you've already watched the video, so you have a refresher to what a mass spectrometer is. But the key idea behind what it is in this question is that we've got a magnetic force, and it's taking these charged particles, and it's making it move in a circle. This is one of the key ideas we need to have in mind. And we know this formula is going to be QVB sine theta is equal to MAC. And I can replace AC right now because I know I'm going to be working with a curved path. And I, so I'm just going to go with right now V squared over R. Now, if we're using magnets, well, that means, we're, well, hold on, we can read right here. We put it through a potential difference of 250 volts. Now, if that's true, that means we're taking electrical energy, or the energy from the electric field, and converting it into kinetic energy. This might be enough of a hint for you on how to start this question. But if you want to stick around, I'll give you some more hints. Okay, so let's list what information we've got. We know we've got a charge of the electron, or sorry, the charge is going to be 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 C. Now, some of you are noticing that this charge is a charge of one electron. So how on earth does a chlorine ion, which is huge, have the same charge as one electron? Well, think about the structure of the atom for a moment. We're dealing with chlorine. Chlorine naturally has, as an atom, 17 protons, 17 electrons. It's in the seventh column of the periodic table. Now, if we're dealing with a chlorine ion, that means it's gained one electron. So it's got 18 electrons, 17 protons. So it's got one more. That's why its charge is one electron. So we also know we have a delta V of 250 volts. We've got a magnetic field of 1.00 teslas and the radius of our path is uh, 0 0.0135 meters so we have listed out information so we can list our equation right here which is q delta v is equal to one half mv squared now what you're going to notice if we look at this equation in the black ink is we want to find mass that's the point of all this but we don't know it and we don't know the speed either. But what you'll notice is we have mass and volume here, or mass and speed here. But we've also got mass and speed right here. So what we need to do is some substitutions. And we can't substitute for mass because we need mass. So we have to do some substitutions for speed. Okay, so let's start to organize this out. And I'm just going to get rid of this pink highlighting for a moment. Let's look at our let's look at the energy side first. We're going to do some rearranging here, and I want to have speed by itself. So it's going to become 2 Q delta V, which is voltage in this case, over M square rooted is V. That's the rearrangement right here. Now before we do any rearranging right here, I want to point out that we've got a speed right here and a speed squared right here. And we're also just going to assume that this is sine 90, just to make our lives easier. So when we do the rearranging over here, we're going to end up with QB R over M is equal to V. So now I've got a V right here, and I've got a V right here. So we can make them equal to each other. So square root of 2Q delta V over m is equal to q b r over m we've got two m's we can't work with two m's this is going to get really difficult to read really quickly so let's just do ourselves a favor and let's square both sides so this will leave us with 2 q delta v over m is equal to q squared b squared r squared over m squared also really complicated to read. So let's do some simplifications. We've got an M there, we've got an M squared right here. We've got a Q here, we've got a Q squared right here. Now I want to isolate for M, so I'm going to take all this stuff, bring it down, and take this M and bring it up. That's going to leave me with 
m is equal to q b squared r squared over 2 delta v. And if we look at our checklist, we've got q, we've got b, we've got r, and we've got delta v. So we've got our four things, so we're going to just plug in. So 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, 1 squared, 0 0.0135 squared, over 2 to 50. So now we can take all this information and plug it into our equation. And according to the calculator, the final answer is 5.8 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms.